Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. Um, I'm just gonna talk briefly about the fish that I have and then uh, see what you guys think I should do next. So, as you can see, I have a super active lemon damsel and a maroon clown, which you can see back here that really only comes out when she's hungry. And then I also have a violet dotty back. Those are the only three fish that I have in this reef. And I actually have a blue dotty back in the sump, but I'm not really gonna count that because he's in the sump. But I wanted to ask you guys what you thought I should get next. I kinda wanna have a whole bunch of you guys comment and maybe pick out the, the most commented one and try to get that fish in here soon. I've been wanting to get a new fish in the reef for a while now, and I just haven't, really no reason, I just haven't. I've been focusing on the coral basically the entire time I've had this new setup going. Um, but I wanna get some new fish in here, at least one. Um, Cause I only have three fish in here, and the only one you ever really see is the lemon damsel, just cause he's so active. But, and the other two are always hiding unless it's feeding time, which you can see they're waiting for me to feed him. But let me know what you guys think. Drop some comments and um, and I'll pick out the one that's most commented. So hopefully a whole bunch of you guys comment on this and give me some ideas of what you would put in this reef with these three fish that I already have. Of course, all these are kind of mildly aggressive. Um, everyone has their spot. The, the lemon damsel, he's kind of all over the place. But the... Uh, the maroon clown actually lives behind the toadstool back there in the very back corner. You can see she's back there right now. That's her spot. And then the violet dotty back lives in this cave. So they've kind of all have their spots already. So whatever is new would uh, could potentially take up residence over there in that hole. Or basically anywhere in the rock work. Um, I've also thought about I've wanted to get some kind of sand sifting goby so that's another option as well because I have a lot of open sand bed so throw some ideas out there let me know what you guys think um, let me know what you guys would get and hopefully we can come up with a, a really cool fish that I can purchase in the next couple weeks and add a little bit more life to this reef tank um, that's it for this one just super super fast um, give me some ideas guys thanks for watching